sitting on your deathbed wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home. And your dying thought is, I wish I would have tried harder. Each and every one of you got a vision, man. A vision to do more, be more. That vision has been given to you. But a lot of us, we discredit ourselves so much of the not enoughs. I'm not enough for this, I'm not enough for that. Congratulations. Maybe you're not supposed to be enough for certain things because certain things aren't enough for you. Maybe you're not supposed to be enough for that job because there's a job greater for you. Maybe some doors have to close in your life so you can walk through the better doors that are meant for your life. Maybe sometimes you gotta get some no's that don't make no sense to walk into your yes. I've learned this in life. Rejection is the ultimate protection. Rejection is just redirection for what God has for your life. But so many of us in here, we're thinking that, oh man, my life is over. I wanna tell you right now, your life is not over, your life is just beginning. You are a choice away from a new beginning and a commitment away from a new life. A choice away from a new beginning and a commitment away from a new life. Do you have the courage to embrace failure? To understand that each setback is not a blockade, but a stepping stone towards your aspirations. Fear kills dreams. It kills hope. It puts people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you from doing it. Most people will continue to live quiet lives of desperation, never amounting to anything significant in this life. They might try to do something they really want to do one time. They'll fail and then go back to doing what they were comfortable doing, telling themselves and other people that it doesn't work. And many people hope for great things to happen to them, but they don't really believe it. Hope is bullshit because it's not in your hands. You can't control hope, man. But when you get belief, it's the belief that you harness through hard work and dedication. And it's something that you know what you are capable of because you've gone there several times in those dark times. So my belief, why I kept on going back to Navy SEAL training and going back to all these different things, not because I hoped training would get easier. It's because I believed I could can make it. The path to success isn't a straight walk into the sunset. It's a journey punctuated with challenges that ask, do you really want this? Your greatest moments won't always stem from triumphs. Often they are born from defeats. For it is in these defeats that we learn to rise again. Don't surrender to your struggle. Make that struggle surrender to you. You see, pain is temporary, but giving up is forever. Never settle for good enough when you know inside you live something better. You didn't come this far just to settle. You didn't come this far just to accept whatever. You came this far to take it to your next level. You came this far to become something greater. They don't care what either stack to get you, my friends. You are highly faith. So for your family, for your life, for your visit, for this world, don't you ever stop working. I would rather aim for the stars and not give them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with that idea. Wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it. Come hell or high water. I'm going after my destiny. Can I ask you a question? What is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself? Of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You gotta ask yourself, how long am I gonna allow this to hold me back? You cannot let your fear hold you back from your destiny. You have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Do it broke, do it scared, do it nervous, do it trembling, do it on your knees, do it with help, do it on crutches, do it in a wheelchair, whatever the case may be, you gotta do it. Because you don't want to end up in a nursing home, sitting on your deathbed wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home, and your dying thought is, I wish I would have tried harder. You are rare, unique, in a class all by yourself. 
You have a voice, a fingerprint, thoughts like nobody else. Believe even when everything falls apart. You might not know how, but believe you'll make it. Declare, this is my life. These are my dreams. I can have whatever I want, be whatever I want, go wherever I want, and I'm gonna go all in to get it. You need to wake up in the morning and decide I'm gonna be fearless. I will not allow fear to take control of my life. I'm in charge here, and nothing out there is going to stop me. Don't allow life to play you. You must play life. You need to ask yourself, what makes it worth for me to keep going? What's my why? Write down the reasons why you deserve your dream. Let them be your anchor, your unwavering force that keeps you steady in the storm. When your reasons for getting it done are strong enough, you'll get through anything that stands in your way. And you gotta remind yourself, your current situation is not your final destination. It's just a phase and it will pass. The key to overcoming fear and adversity is to keep moving. No matter how slow, no matter how painful, you've got to grind every day. Don't be seduced by the easy path. Choose the hard one, for it leads to greatness. Let your dreams be so vivid, so tangible that you can taste them, imagine them, live them in your mind, and then bring them into reality. Your dreams should be so powerful that they pull you through the toughest of times. Take responsibility for your life. Decide that no matter what happens, you will not be defeated. You will not quit. You've come too far to give up now. Your character is defined not in comfort and convenience, but in challenge and controversy. So stand up for what you believe in. Push through the pain, the fear, the doubt. Fight for your dreams, for your destiny. And know without a shred of doubt that you are capable of overcoming anything life throws your way. As you take charge of your life, as you continue to walk into your next level, everybody won't see it and everybody won't get it, but it's not meant for them to get. Most of this world lacks faith, and a lot of us, faith is like the opposite for us. We have to see it to believe it, but we know faith is having vision in the unseen. Faith is having knowing in the unknown. And so it's time for you to walk that journey and trust the vision that's been given to you. And I want you to give it to the world. Life is going to happen and you're going to set up a plan and you're going to have a vision and you're going to hope that it's going to turn out perfect. But what so often happens in life is that things get burned and things go the wrong way. And it's in that moment that you're going to have to choose your reaction. Do you have a choice to make? Do you have the right reaction or do you have the wrong reaction? Some of us were tempted. I'll just lay here and it will pass over me. I'm telling you, you will be in a vicious cycle forever. You have to get up. Some of you have been knocked out by light and you got up and saw the blood. He hit me. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. This is time for you to get up and be the best version of you. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh. You have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. There is a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Once you begin to know who you are, once you discover this power, the perfect essence of who you are, that's in all of us, that's permeating our being, 
that enable us to be the directors of our lives. It will set you free from believing, I can't see myself doing any better. That you truly can live a healthy, happy, prosperous life, and that you can make it in what are called the worst of times. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you are tough. You're made of some special stuff.